Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play. Hi guys. Hello. And we're here together on the Nemesis spaceship, which is simultaneously exciting and terrifying. Oh, do we have the box? Now, I don't like so, aliens. This scared me. <laughs> so the reason this is exciting is because this is a brand super cool new super cool game. This is Awaken Realms. You know the guys who brought you Lords of Hellas. This war of mine. And that other one you backed, Edge of Dawnfall. The Edge Dawnfall. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I backed it. I should probably. Know. <laughs> <laughs> but a bunch of games, miniatures games, were really excited about. It. But this is a miniatures game that is particularly near and dear, certainly to my heart, as a big fan of the Alien movies. Mm -hmm. Me too. Even I like him. <laughs> so, this is this is sort of a mashup between Alien One and Two, where we are a group of uh, survive not survivors, but the crew of a spaceship, slightly more militarily competent than. The original crew, but not quite the crack team of guys who get slaughtered in the second, second film. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Alien 1.5. A little yeah. bit of... What's that film? Sanctum? The one where they wake up from hyperspace and there's aliens on the ship? Kind of like this one. Okay. I don't I'm know sure that, that one. It's got that guy in it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> so we're all survivors and we've just woken up on the Nemesis to discover one of our friends dead <gasps> and the ship is full of aliens. <gasps> Uh -oh. oh, no, no. They're called intruders. They're called intruders. intruders. We don't know. They were not invited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. broken in. Uninvited. Like gate crashes, basically. <laughs> yeah. They, uh... <laughs> so, we now have to kill one of these characters, because there's six characters. Yeah, we've got the captain, the scout, the pilot, the stormtrooper, and the scientist. Yep. And there may be an engineer. But, uh, he's not yet been funded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, no mechanics. So let's kill one. We'll have to kill one, but, the, but we're instructed to kill one of these characters. They've died in hyperspace. Right here on the board. Yeah, right there. They did. In the hibernation they chamber. <laughs> so, uh, we have to determine this randomly. Um, I can't remember how I was doing this So before. just take one should of we, those cards and should then we take the them. Should we take the pieces? No, 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 no. Take the cards <laughs> and then shuffle the cards. <laughs> but I want to shuffle the pieces. <laughs> I'm missing... Oh, that's it. Okay, so... Pick a number between one and five. Please don't be stormed through the back. Please don't be stormed through Three. And now say when. Stop. Okay. One, two, three. It is. The scientist. The scientist no. is dead. He is dead. I like the scientist. I also really like the scientist. So he had a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. Our most diverse character killed already. <laughs> so there's the scientist. Uh, also known as he who will not be appearing in this game. <laughs> Scout. Gets cool. back. And now we shuffle the turn order cards to determine the round order yeah. of uh, us players. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But uh, just uh, quickly, if you didn't watch my rules and setup video, uh, which I've done for this, which is quite comprehensive, but uh, there's three engines. We need to get two of these engines working. We've got a set of coordinates here, randomly dealt from a coordinates deck. Uh -huh. These show the coordinates of uh, four stellar bodies, including Earth. We need to get back to Earth. We need to set the coordinates to Earth and get two of these engines working. And then the ship will hyper jump after a certain amount of time. So we also have to live that long. And get back into a hibernation chamber before the ship jumps, or we'll be all turned to interstellar. Mesh. Mesh. And we'll have a secret objective that we have to complete that no none of the other players will know about. These secret objectives can be as basic as uh, get the ship back to Earth, or they can be kill Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a semi car. <laughs> it is very much a semi car. We don't win yeah, together. Yeah. We don't lose together. But we need to. We will all have our private objectives we must complete, plus these other main objectives, which are get the ship back to Earth or get into these escape pods. Yeah. But um, we'll explain how that works as it comes up. Yeah. We take out these cards because they're for more players. Yep. So take out all the cards that aren't used in the, th uh, the four and five player version of the game. Shuffle this. Uh, so the game is for one to five players. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe but uh, we get to choose our characters and we get our turn order cards before we do those. Ben, it might influence your uh, mission. Depending on whether or not you are the uh, stormtrooper or the pilot. Okay. So here we go. So um, wait, you're supposed pick a to card. Take, you're supposed to take two of them out. Oh yeah, because we don't have, <laughs> we we have, don't have a full day. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> we invited more people, but it's snowing today, and they didn't want to come out in the snow. I almost crashed. Ben almost died getting here. 
Yeah. Okay. I guess uh, that would make you the scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm I did a number two. Oh, I'm number one. Uh, okay. Number three. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to deal two primary goals to each person, and after we've selected our characters, we will also choose which of these to Thank use you. and which to get rid of. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn it, see. Okay, cool. I'm good. No. I know who I want. Who do you want me? Yeah, I know who I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can pick the stormtrooper. Can I? Yeah. Cool, then I'll have this mission. Oh. <laughs> well, that's... The... Well, no, we'll take the stormtrooper. Yeah. Come on. In case it didn't work out, I really want to be the stormtrooper. I haven't been him yet. I've got a very, I've got a secret mission that requires a big gun. <laughs> I hope it's not like kill everyone else. <laughs> kill all other players. I'm um, gonna pick this one. Oh wait, uh, it's it's me. I have to pick a character now. Um, I will pick. Hmm. Who's good at like fixing shit? Um, Probably the engineer. <laughs> Probably the scientist. <laughs> He who shall not be appearing in this prototype. God damn it. Do you want to give me the scientist stuff so we can oh, yes. get that off the table? Yeah, I'll table. probably just take the... What does the scout do? I've never played as the scout. Um, she's sort of got like... Um, she, she can move around rooms silently very easily. Yeah. She's got like a reconnaissance thing, which is really good. Um, you know what? I'm probably just going to be the captain. Captain? Yeah. Okay. Captain's cool. I, I'm going to take a very thematic objective. <laughs> like you Murder tell, all your subordinates. You he's the captain because he's pointing the finger. Do you this. <laughs> follow my orders. Um, so the captain starts with an item that allows you to check the objective of me or Michael. Really? Yeah, but you can only check one of others. Access codes. And you have to be in a room with a computer. Oh, I'm yeah, in a I'm freaking. Coming and ahhing between these two, but so the scout think. is cool because she can move around silently. Exactly. The pilot's cool because she can set uh, the warp jump from the cockpit. Which means essentially, instead of having to survive like 15 turns, we only have to survive like six. But the problem with that is if you set the jump in too early and we haven't completed our private missions, we might jump into hyperspace uh, before we can get back to the hibernation chamber. Wow, I, uh, I just realized I definitely should have taken the pilot for my objective. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> is your objective I'm not launch into anything. hyperspace and kill everyone? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to. I think I'll be the scout. No, I'll be the pilot. <laughs> okay, you you, can you decide. Don't you, you do you do you, but take the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, on the one hand, uh, your secret objective is your own, and you have to decide how you're going to complete it. Yeah. On the other hand, he is the captain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so do as you're told. <laughs> well, I'm not saying do as you're told. I'm just saying, you know. Um, you might want to fly in the face. You might not believe in this captain. No. I mean, you know, he, he almost crashed. I was like, why would I trust him? He could be uh, Picard, <laughs> but he could also ammunition? be Orville. <laughs> Who wants uh, ammunition? Oh, I want ammunition. I have a gun. Look, if you pick your character, you'll also get ammunition. So, you know, everyone wants ammunition. Well, the pilot has a shotgun and the scout has a machine gun. Yeah. The machine I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be the scout. Very well. Okay. In for the long game. I like it. Uh, um... <laughs> We've got to survive. Do it, you know what? No. Change my mind. Man of indecisiveness. I'm going to be the pilot. Okay, cool. All right. I'm, I, I support a notion if you can. By the way, if you try <laughs> to put us into hyperspace before I'm ready, I'll taser you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, there is uh, there. The, we've all been implanted with chips in our brains that control us and prevent us from firing on other people oh God, oh God, oh because God. space crew are expensive to train and they don't want the crew to be uh, killing their own assets, basically company assets. But uh, what we can do is if we find the correct equipment, we can build tasers and tase one another in rooms that contain aliens. And that's as good as killing someone. <laughs> can we not just shoot each other? No, we can't shoot each other. We've been oh. ship, uh, chips in our brains prevent us from it. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Because uh, the company doesn't want us to... Uh, Hurt each other. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, or, you know, they, they, we're expensive to train. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so we have a starting hand Is of six. Yeah. Yep. We have a starting hand of six cards. Yep, so oh, we've got so these decks you... of ten action cards here. That's my mission that I'm not doing. Okay. We start with six, and uh, we'll always have six. We, it's not a deck building game, we won't add cards to this deck, we but we will get it. contamination cards. Which is technically adding cards to the deck, but they aren't helpful in any way, so we yep. don't want that to happen. They're detrimental. Lame. There's, there's actually sort of a wound system where we can take wounds and die, we can also add cards to our deck that clog up the deck and will probably cause death as well. Like Mage Knight, but not quite. More like... Curses, curses and Dominion, a bit like that. 
Cool. Um, yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All yeah. right. So I'm player one. Um, Go. So I feel like the captain should be player one. I, yeah, <laughs> I have like a great two, opening two, move. Four, five, <laughs> six. Well, too bad because I'm leaving. Oh, okay. So I was going to rest. Three, four, five, <laughs> You're going to rest? I was going to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to. Uh, ooh, nerves of steel. Ooh. Um, okay, so I'm going. Wait, we're not ready. Bing. Bing. Now we're ready. Okay. Turn 15. <laughs> of Counting downwards. Yeah, yeah. counting downwards, yeah. <laughs> um, if we get to turn zero, that's when the hyperspace engine kicks in. We launch it to space, and if we're not in a hibernation chamber or an escape pod, we're vaporized. We dead. Um, so I guess we should probably start checking the engines. Okay. Sure. Makes or maybe sense. we should check the core. I'll tell you what. I'll go to the cockpit and check the coordinates. <laughs> I'm the pilot. I must <laughs> do that. Why did, you, why did you say that like in a really... Strange way. He can check the coordinates without being at the cockpit. Can you? Yeah. But what if? Uh, need... I, yes, I can check them if I'm in a room in a computer. But what if uh, the coordinates are not set to? Well, what I'm saying is, I think the coordinates are probably the dangerous location to get to. And as the most fearsome fighting character, I should probably brave the journey up to the cockpit. I think you're bullshitting. I think he should. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'll go check the engines then. It's just, we... I don't know if I have. Uh, do I have repair? Can we not all go check the cockpit? Map. I think we should stick together. <laughs> Alright, Captain. This I'm going in here. You guys can come with me if you like. I will. I will vote to come with you. I will take a... I'm going to discard this rest card. Cool. I will take the... Uh... Do, you have a repair? Do you have repair? Do you have any repairs? The pilot does have repairs. Do you have any she? repairs on you? Uh, uh, I don't have any in my hand. I don't have any in my hand. Okay, well, I'll keep my repair then. Does anyone have any demolitions? Nope. Not in hand. Not in hand. Oh. Not in hand. I don't think. I'm not even sure if I have a demolition in this deck because okay, I haven't cool. played the storm. I'm just going to... Great. I, I have both but not in my hand. So okay. I have neither in my hand. Okay, I'm going to chuck my rest card away because I'm less likely to use that to move. So I'm coming with you. Yeah. So the cool thing about moving together is that we create less noise as we move around the ship which is perfect because uh, noise attracts horrifying alien beasties. Intruders. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be left alone. So are you coming? Well, you uh, Ben's moved your piece for you. So uh, oh, okay. are you also coming? Yeah. So I just got a card. <laughs> yeah, just got a card. Okay. Perfect. So uh, now we do the room. The so flip. we've got. Uh, so this room has recently experienced an alien intrusion, which means I have to roll for noise twice, and also the room is malfunctioning. It is the engine room, which allows us to check the status of Whoa, the engine. Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> super convenient. That's really lucky. Um, I like this. <laughs> So uh, we, you, it is a long action, but it is so. If you take a long action in here, you can check the status of all the engines, uh, which have been randomized. They have been randomized. Yeah, for all that noise. So here we go. First, uh, first noise roll of the game. Let's find out what's going on. So uh, that's no, no, silence, no. which is good. And this is good. Four. So there's a uh, noise coming from this corridor here. Oh, clank, 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 clank. It's probably nothing, you guys. It's probably, <laughs> probably nothing. Probably a bird. Probably nothing. So, uh, from here, I so this room is actually currently uh, broken. Um, I don't have a repair. I do. You should probably repair this room. Um, but uh, obviously that can't happen because it's my turn. Still your go. I'm gonna just. Dis- you have better repairs. You can repair for one card, not two. I think. Okay. You, yeah, I think your repair cards are a lot better. Yes, I can. Yeah. It's one. He's better at repairing. That is good. Uh, so, I'm actually a badass chick. Yeah. <laughs> Have you know? <laughs> All this time, and I never knew. Um, I'm going to discard an interruption, I think, to move into this room here. I interrupt that. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to come with me? Um, uh, I think I'm going to stay here and, re- and check the room, or do you want to you Well, stay? Michael should come. No, this is a I problem. I think I should come with you. Yeah, but you need to fix that room, unless Ben's going to fix it. I can fix it. It just will cost me a lot. Well, that's true, but Michael's the one that needs to come to the cockpit, right? Why? Oh, no, you don't need to come to the cockpit. Yet. I don't need to go because I can do it with a room with a computer. Which is where you which is where you are in at the moment. So I'll go, I'll go with you. Well, I was going to avoid this room because it's dangerous, but we could just go that way. Yeah, it's just two of us. All right, let's just go this way. It's, okay. So this is shorter but more dangerous because it's attached to these uh, spaces here, which are technical tunnels, basically air ducts. Ooh. Um, so um, and the wait, aliens I'm, move through the air ducts. I have to discard a card. Have you seen I'll that chuck- scene in Alien where, uh, who is it, uh, Dallas, the captain's <laughs> like going through the air duct? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. And now I watch it. Yeah, it's, it's so really funny. funny. <laughs> because it's almost like the guy's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm here. <laughs> so uh, you've just got your curtain? Yeah. Cool. So this room has got a bulkhead that slams shut behind us, oh. separating us from Michael. Uh oh. So you left me in the corridor with this dude? No, uh, no. It, it will. If we roll a noise, it's actually on both sides of the door, technically. Uh, so this is Section B evacuation hatch, which means that if we want to get into the Section B escape pods, we go through this room. Four. And that's set to four. So these tiles uh, have numbers around the outside. That indicates how many items are in the room that we can find. And we'll rotate the tiles. Every time we search. Every time we search. So this is quite a good room to search in because it's white, which means you can draw from any of the item decks. Yeah, There's sort of a lot of privilege in this room. Munition. So I'm actually going to uh, do a search action in here, I think. Uh, no, I'm going to roll for sound. Yes. Sound. Sound of the underground. So that is a surprise attack. But uh, because there's no aliens on the board, it's meaningless at the moment okay which is good which is great yeah because uh, so if, if there were aliens on the board they'd immediately move towards us mm-hmm. and try and engage all us. aliens are just adjacent aliens i'm pretty sure it's just adjacent aliens. i think it's just adjacent yeah, yeah. i'm sure it's okay. just adjacent so we discard i discard a search card and now i can draw a card you got to tick this down Beep. yep that ticks down the whole room rotates so Holy i'm going to take ammunition i've got ammunition for my gun which is great great um uh, fully gun, load gun, one gun, energy gun. weapon so basically all of them are energy weapons with the exception of the flamethrower which we have to build and the taser and the taser do you know what i think i'm actually going to do another search in here i've got both my search cards i might as well use them okay what, where i can choose what i get so i'll take a medical supply this time and uh i've got clothes which allow me to nice. uh get rid of slime if i get covered in alien slime which attracts <laughs> aliens i can just change my clothes can't you just take your clothes off have you ever been on naked on a spaceship? No. Well then, that's I why I reckon it's cold and dry. <laughs> that's why you don't know. <laughs> so I've got two cards here. These are actually quite useful to have in hand. So I might just save hang them. on to them. You're gonna save them? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna cool. save them. So. Um, so uh, I pass over to Ben. So I was gonna use my motivation card to make everyone in my room draw a card. Oh yeah, that's really good. But that's kind of pointless for you because you're gonna just be drawing up anyway. Yeah, that's only really useful if you're the first player. Yeah. Damn it. Nope. Yeah, that's 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 why I swear the captain should be first player. But anyway, so clearly, as the first player, I should pick the captain. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I did mention this, but this is a prototype, so all of this kind of stuff is subject to change. I know there's already a few changes Awaken Realms have made. Um, this board is not the board that uh, they'll be producing with the game, but uh, it will be coming to Kickstarter in January. So keep an eye out for that and see what uh, things look like. Okay, I'm gonna demolition that door. Uh, this one. Yeah, that makes sense, right? I mean, I guess uh, so. Do you feel scared on your own? No, I'm, I'm well, feel good. I mean, so long as you've got it, it does seem prudent to maybe like not leave doors lying around. I mean, on the actually, other... I could motivate you to have a card, which means you could use a different card to move with me. Oh yeah, that's true. That would be good. Okay, I'm gonna do motivation. Can, so it is useful. Yeah, motivation. All characters, including you, uh, in the same room, draws an action card. So do I just draw my top bar? No, you don't get one, Michael. You're not, you're not in, in the, the same room. room. No. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> We left you behind in the engine room. We did. To check the engines. Oh, but this is a really good one, Ben. Do you know why these all seem good? Because we're, we've are we been playing a lot with the scientists and stuff. And now I'm the stormtrooper and I have all the combat cards. <laughs> like, <laughs> these are great. I could order you to go to another room. I mean, you know, I wouldn't be mad about that at this point. But what, what why, what, like, do you roll for noise? Uh, you always roll for noise when going into an empty room. Okay. I'm going to send you into the room in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we should move together because then we don't make two... Oh, no, because if you come in and I'm in there already, you don't have to roll for noise. Yeah, okay, exactly. cool. Yeah, no, that, that works. So I uh, spend... I And that means you don't discard as many cards to do stuff because you don't need to move with me with an extra card. So move any character in the same room as you to a neighboring room. If the bulkhead doors are open or destroyed. Yeah, which they are in that direction. So you move to the cockpit. Okay, I'm here. Looking for aliens. Is there an alien flying the spaceship? Let's find out. The answer is four. Four. (laughs) Down there. Four aliens flying the spaceship. There was a strange noise coming from the other side of the room. Cool. And um, I'm just going to come with you. Yep. That makes sense. So I will get rid of this. Uh, Oh, maybe I should search. I'm going to do a quickie search. Boop. I yeah. also want a better gun because oh a concussion grenade that's pretty sweet that does uh, some auto damage right there nice 
also hits friendlies because you know grenades um and then i'm going to spend another action to join you in here and i don't roll for noise because you're already here and i'm going to use my last card to check the coordinates okay seems legit i am checking the coordinates are we going to earth ben we are actually currently going to earth how do i know i can trust you because i'm the captain <laughs> And you can always trust the captain in every sci-fi film. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, they're never well, corruptible. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll just have to find out if Ben's telling the truth or not, and we'll do that probably tomorrow on Ready to Be Play. <gasps> Michael's got to have a go first, though, and also this. I forgot about this. These are alien weakness cards. There's Ooh. three weaknesses to the alien race, which are going to be randomly dealt out here on the alien board. We can discover these weaknesses by analyzing alien corpses, eggs, and also dead people. Ooh. I love this. Let's go away now. <laughs> <laughs> so, tomorrow, Michael will have a turn and we'll discover alien weaknesses. Thanks for watching, everybody. See, see you tomorrow. There. Bye. Bye.